Hello there, YouTube world. I know I've already done a video about Slipknot, but I've been listening to them the day. Every time I don't listen to them for a while, and then I get back into them again, I think to myself, good God almighty, they're absolutely amazing. Yes. Right. Yeah. That album I first heard, that was the first album I got introduced to. Absolutely incredible. Obviously, uh, the one zone it that bring back the memories is the Heretic Anthem, Left Behind, and My Plague. But I like uh, every single one of them. I like uh, Everything End recently, and Disaster Peace uh, recently as well. But uh, as I said, I, this is one of the, be the best uh, albums of all time in that genre. Definitely, 110%. Absolutely incredible. I mean, if I know what I know now, I wish I never got rid of the hoodie that I used to have when I, when I first got into them. Uh, I got a hoodie, I think, uh, at Bathgate uh, Market, and I really wish I never uh, got, got rid of it. And I really, really wish by now I had a Slipknot t-shirt. Aye, but I, I am going to get a slip, either a Slipknot t-shirt or jumper when I go to England. But I just thought I would uh, aye, just say how good this album is. Uh, uh, 515 first song, but that's like screaming and that. People Equals and then uh, Shizen. Uh, Disaster Peace, My Plague, Everything Ends, The Heretic Anthem, Gently, uh, Left Behind, The Shape, I Am Hated, which is a good song, uh, Skin Ticket, uh, new Abortion, me Metabolic, and Iowa, because Iowa is where they're from. Des Moines, Iowa. I'd like to go there and see where they grew up. Apparently they always say it's uh, absolutely terrible, but uh, I'd still like to go and see where, they're grown, where they grew up. In fact, my top five best bands of all time, I'd like to uh, go and see where they grew up. Right. This is another uh, absolutely incredibly stunning Masterpiece. I mean, it's nowhere near as good as Iowa. Uh, unfortunately, uh, like, I still absolutely love them, but uh, Iowa's got to be the best thing they've ever done. Even though I love everything they've ever done, if I had to only choose one, it would be Iowa. But uh, all the rest are just as good. But not quite as good, but just as. Uh, Psychosocial is one of my favourite uh, Slipknot songs, so I would maybe, maybe say that this is second favourite album. But Dead Memories is a good song, and Suffer is a good song. Aye, S U L F U R Suffler. Uh, aye, but it's a good album as well. Oh, Snuff is a good song. That's very good. It's a very well heavy song in terms of lyrics, but not a, in uh, like melodic stuff. Right. In fact, I really like that album. I got that when I was doing in England once. I like uh, The Devil and I, Kill Pop, Bleach, uh, The Negative One, but it's, it's phenomenal. Oh, it's a good album. Very, very strong album. Uh, a tribute to uh, Paul Gray, uh, the bassist that died. Right. We Are Not Your Kind. This is, this is now one of my uh, favourites. Wait, in fact, I don't know. It's a, it's a, that one and that one for uh, my two uh, least favourite, if I had to say. But as, as I say, right, I would say that in order it goes Slipknot, uh, Iowa, then it goes... I uh, maybe the grey chapter, then the volume three that I've not got, but I've heard it before and it's good. Then, then that one, and then, then that one, and then that one. But that one is when 
came out last year and uh, they were splitting up for their record label and they weren't happy with the final press on it. But there's some good ones like the Dying Song and then uh, the... Wait. The Chapel Town Rag. That's a good song. And then Yen. That's a good song, but uh, it is not too bad. I've heard that album the least. Uh, I might actually listen to that while I'm playing a bit of FIFA soon. Uh, right, so uh, I need to give that a bit more of a listen. It's more melodic, uh, that album. It's no uh, heavy as the previous ones. I really, 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 really hope that they harness all their energy and try and make an album as good as that. Next, next one. We Are Not Your Kind Door. I really like that one. Aye, uh, aye, some good songs uh, on it, like, uh, song 278, 14, 10, and 2, if I've said that already, but aye, uh, incredible. Ah, didn't realise that was bashed. Anyway. I think I got, I, no I didn't, I, I was going to say I got this done in England but I, I can't remember getting it done in England. I think I got that in HMV, I definitely did get that in HMV on the day that came out. I got that in HMV, I, because it was like uh, two for something, like, uh, I think it was two for like £13 or something, and I got uh, there two that day, it was in uh, Southport actually, but uh, HMV in Southport, England doesn't exist anymore, aye, but uh, there two albums I, I got on the same day, incredible, but I just love like the impact of uh, their lyrics and the, the way that they like uh, conduct themselves on stage and all that and singing, cheers. I'm drinking uh, English breakfast tea, but uh, Lidl's on make. It's qu it's not quite as good as uh, Twining English breakfast, because Twining English breakfast has just got mere oomph. Like, that one's not too bad, like, if you're on a budget, but uh, if you really, really seriously properly into your tea, it's better to pay a tiny little bit extra and get twining English breakfast. I mean, it's no bad, though, for little standard. Right, but... Look at me! Look at him! Look at him now! Right, uh, I'm going down to England on Wednesday, so I'm going to try and find the only other Slipknot album that I need, which is uh, Volume 3. Can I believe I've never got it uh, before or since. But, yep, the Volume 3 was, I think, their third album. Could have been. What, or say, I don't know, wait. Nah, no, it must be their second album. If it is, though, I don't know why they've called it Volume 3. Hmm. Right. Uh, in order they go in is that one. Then after that it was... Oh, I can't remember. Uh, aye, that. Because that, that... Right. That was 1999. That was uh, 2009. This was uh, 2019. This one was, ah, oh, 2009. Nine, no, uh, 1999, 2009, 2019. Huh? Ten years apart. And then uh, this one was... 2014, and then this one was like 2022, oh, 2022, Kushti, very Kushti, and one does definitely dare say. Uh, every time I do a video and I put on a mask, if I'm doing it for more than four minutes, I just kind of believe that they can put 
and that's going to keep it on uh, for the duration of their, uh, their set on stage. But I like it, and look at me when I am speaking, look at them. Anyway, aye, so I just love the impact to everything about Slipknot, like their album artwork, their music, phenomenal. So, cheers. Right, uh, in the future I might have to get a couple of more Slipknot masks. Sometimes though the ones that I pay the less for are quite good, as you see in previous uh, videos of me wearing masks. But I love the sheer impact this one. Isn't it scary at all though, but uh, if you were to see someone wear it and you didn't expect it, it'd be a little bit freaky to begin with. But Right, so... Uh, I got my stitches taken out up there, but there was one where the uh, scab uh, went over the top of uh, one of the stitches and the nurse couldn't get it out. So she said to me, get some Vaseline, come back today uh, at quarter to two in the afternoon and hopefully the Vaseline would have uh, like uh, smoothened out the, uh, the stitch so she can take it out. Aye, it's r r right there. Aye, right, right about there where I'm uh, pointing my finger. And I got the stitches uh, out on Wednesday, but I have to come back today to get the last one out. But I'm going to have to wash my hair in the uh, shower later so I can... Aye, so I, so I can get the Vaseline off so they can... So she can take the, sti the stitch out. I had one uh, taken out of the back and that's made a big difference. But anyway, I just thought I'd let you ken that. So, aye, right, uh, it's over and out for this video, but uh, keep supporting metal and slipknot and music in general. Right, thanks for watching. Tatty bye.